Hey guys, and welcome back to another Conan Exiles video. Today we are back with the Star Sign Builds, the series where we build structures that represent the traits of the traditional Zodiac Star Signs. Today we are building a Waterfall Tavern for the Aquarius Star Sign, which is active from January 20th to February 18th. Aquarius is an air sign represented by the Water Carrier, and they are deep, imaginative, original, and uncompromising. They are also strongly linked to community, nature, and art, so today we are building a waterfall tavern with a focus on those aspects. This build is over in the top right corner of Map Square H5, just a step southwest of Mitra's Serenity. The requirements for this build are on screen now, and it is pretty simple. So without further ado, let's get started. Firstly, start off with this spaceplate design. Cover the gaps beneath the ceilings with Argosian walls, I added a couple of slotted segments on either side, but not too many, and then placed the stairs on either side of the build. Next, add door frames onto the stair segments and separate the front archways onto the balcony area. Then you'll want to use stable gate frames on the bottom front layer of walls, add Argosian fences inside them, and then replace the gates with doors. Aquarius is of course an air sign, so these windows will help the build feel a bit more light and airy. Once these windows are complete, build the walls three tiles high in total, and just regular plain walls above the windows. From there, add ceilings atop the walls. Buff out some of the corners near the rock faces, add large pillars either side of the central segment, and hang door frames above that section at the rear. To close this floor up, finish building the ceilings above, and then add some vaulted ceilings for a bit of shape. Next build an angled staircase on either side, running against the rock wall and up to the rooftop. Use the rear windows trick again to build a front gazebo segment, and a rounded strip at the back too. Add crenellated walls to the back rounded strip, a simple sloping roof above the arches below, and a wedge roof over the gazebo.
On either side of the floor build some decorative towers. I tried pillars but wasn't a huge fan, so I just built a simple two tile high tower with a rooftop cap. Back on the ground floor, add archways over each doorway with a simple open gable roof above them. Back inside, buff out the corners a little more to smoothly transition into the rear segment, and then add roof pieces outside the build to smooth it into the ground. Finally, during the furnishing phase, I made a change to the gazebo roof that I didn't record, so I've recorded it separately. Raise a simple wedge circle in the center and merge it into the existing roof, keeping the top of that new roof flat. You'll see this design in the finished build. Finally, when the shutter the build was done, it was then time to, of course, furnish. I've lit the build with braziers and wall torches throughout, and I've also added some clan banners to try and evoke the symbol of Aquarius. Being represented by the water carrier, there's nothing that directly matches it, but I think the drinking horn over a simple circular field works quite well for this sign. Inside the tavern, I've tried to cultivate that atmosphere of community, art and nature that Aquarius is linked to. Unlike most of my other taverns, this one is far more open and spacious to incorporate that airy feeling that I tried to integrate into the architecture. The connection to nature is pretty obvious and is really helped by the bar segment at the rear, which has a direct view to the waterfall. I've added lots of tapestries, paintings, trophies, statues and other art pieces around this floor, some of them as a real feature of the area, and others more as set dressing for the theme. There's also some natural elements on this floor, particularly the hedge segments beneath the stairs and of course the waterfall itself, and the ivy hanging from the door frames above the bar. Heading upstairs we reach the rooftop garden, which is an idea I've wanted to integrate into a build for quite a while. There is a little less space on this floor, but it also feels a lot more clean and natural, which is a slight contrast to the more cultivated and refined opulence of the ground floor. I've used the hedges and hanging ivy a lot here, alongside using some of the smaller plants with pots and dishes to give them the potted plant appearance. I've always struggled a bit with integrating a concept like this, it always felt a little unnatural, but I think this actually came out really well, and finishes the build off beautifully. And there we have it, an Aquarius Waterfall Tavern in Map Square H5 of the Exol Lands. I didn't quite know how this was going to go when I initially started, but I think this is one of the best in the series so far. The rooftop garden is most definitely the crowning jewel of the build. Thank you for watching, and of course, a massive thanks to our wonderful esteemed coffee cultists for continuing to support the channel over on Patreon. To be honest, there were many ways I could have taken this sign, but I think this choice came out really well. Next time we have Pisces, so if you have any suggestions for that build, I would of course love to hear them in the comments. Again, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you soon.